So I'm Jason Lyle Black, I'm known as the Backwards Piano Man on YouTube and in my concerts. Um, I started playing piano at the age of eight, so a little later than some, you know, that are maybe professional musicians started. But yeah, I started at the age of eight and studied classical piano, you know, just for 10 years and growing up. And then I had kind of a series of experiences. I started getting a little more into the entertainment side of music. One of those was that I, I had the chance to um, meet John Schmidt and play for of the Piano Guys and play for him a parody act I'd created of some of his music. This is before the Piano Guys existed. John was a solo performer at that time and he thought it was hilarious and ended up inviting me a few months later to do that little comedy bit in one of his shows and which I just I was you know ecstatic about and anyway that was shortly before my mission so I uh, just about two months before I left I had the chance to play in John's show and when I got back from my mission I was still you know I wasn't majoring in music I had maybe other professional goals or plans but uh, but I was getting back involved in the music scene again and then I had some experiences that kind of you know led me to look at okay what do I really want to do what what do I think I want to do professionally and felt like music was something I wanted to do because of how you could connect with people because you really can as an entertainer with, or an author you know whatever it is but in the arts and entertainment you have an opportunity to make a deep personal connection with people and that's I mean still just the other day somebody a friend of mine um, posted a tweet about this private concert, you know, that I just played a couple songs for him and um, and he's, oh, you know, I love this music and it was just the look on his face when I played, he's, he's actually, he's a comic book illustrator professionally and I played a couple comic book soundtrack original songs I was working on and the look on his face, he was just so excited and loved that music and was so inspired by, you know, the, that creation as a fellow creator. And I have another good friend of mine who's an author and has just released another one of his books I'm writing some music for it. These experiences of connecting with people are what drove me wanting to do music. Um, interestingly enough, I didn't go into that originally, so I actually have an accounting degree and I worked in the accounting profession full time for three years. And then a series of experience after experience kind of led me back to wanting to, to really pursue music again. And you know, I'm also kind of a passionate entrepreneur at heart, so I'm now doing that full time and pursuing um, music. So kind of what I do. I am most known for YouTube. I'm, uh, I guess, in a class of emerging YouTubers. So I've had a few really viral videos. You know, still working on kind of building that following. But I've I've got um, about eight million views on my channel now from different uh, viral videos. One that a collaboration I did with the Piano Gal, which was a Frozen um, duet staged as a kind of skib sibling skit, sibling rivalry. And we had the opportunity to go to Japan, Tokyo, Japan, because of that video and perform live, which was awesome, this last summer. And then I um, created a video uh, with my, my friend Eric Thane from Seldora Studios and did a video of Up with my grandparents. And I did the arrangement for that video and, uh, and developed that with them. And they're in their 80s and they play piano duets together. And so we did a video of Up and that one made national news everywhere. Uh, well, I just... ABC and CBS and NBC and all the major talk show and the, or the major news shows and magazines, Time Magazine, People Magazine and, and all of these news outlets talked about it, Yahoo, Huffington Post. It was amazing to see that response. That was relatively recent, that video. And so I've had some wonderful opportunities. I'm uh, very excited. I actually have a, um, a record deal that I've just accepted and I'll be sharing some news on that very soon on my, my own channel. And so I'll have, uh, I have an album that'll be coming out in May and that'll be, you know, distributed Distributed as well nationally and um, you know on internet radio around the world and I get to, a chance to work with a, a very accomplished producer on this album he's he's had a number of number one billboard charting hits and was actually um, the producer that helped um, launch Stephen Sharp Nelson's career from the piano guys and so really excited to work with that I'll be sharing you know more details on that soon and uh, also got a book of piano arrangements with Hal Leonard um, Corporation, so that's uh, that's just come out. So a lot of really exciting things. I feel like you know I've been very blessed with a lot of doors starting to open. Um, and I've got a, a big show I do every year in California, a Christmas concert in Oakland. We had um, almost 1,400 people come to the show this year. It was amazing. And this show, I mean, it it has just exploded. Uh, we've you know doubled the attendance, and it's really exciting. So that's. That show's picking up. I've got a number of other opportunities in the works and different concerts, collaborations. Had a chance to work with some really talented, you know, YouTubers um, here in Utah too, and you know, this year. So 
just really excited about where things are headed and it's you know it's a hard road i mean it's it's as anyone who's doing this path knows it's very difficult to become established and very difficult to make a living in the entertainment industry but i'm really excited and you know feel good about the direction things are going and the goals i've had and and i've had some you know really meaningful experiences you know the people i shared those two examples my friend the other illustrator and the author that you know seeing how music how pe how people connect with you over that music and um just seeing, you know, I had the chance to go to Japan and the friendships that I made with people there where we didn't even speak the same language. Some of them spoke very little English, but the friendship we made through music and through the, the performance that we did together uh, was really, really, really cool. And, you know, I had some missionary opportunities as well being in Japan and just really, really fun. So I think that's kind of what drives me. I don't know. I, I love the creative arts. I love to create new things. Um, I love writing music. I love creating parodies. I love, you know, we're starting to write more original comedy material as well. And um, I love performing. I love enter trying to entertain, you know, people and do, um, you know, do corporate programs and things like that as well. School assemblies, all sorts of different, you know, programs. And so, yeah, I'm just really excited to see where things are going. So where would I like to be, you know, long term with this? I mean, really, my goal is to take my show around the world. So that's a lofty goal but that's my goal i you know i have my show it's it's virtuoso piano and musical comedy it's it's kind of like a you know a variety show i like to bring you know centered around the piano but i like to bring guests in the show in california i have a storyteller actor that you know we do a, a comedic storytelling bit together i have a, a singer that um, we do a number of tunes together some that are you know just classic fun christmas vocal songs others that are comedic and you know i've done other things i've started playing with sock puppets so i bring on my own little characters to play with me at the piano that's brand new i just started that um, but i love it and the audience loved it and all the pictures i took with people that came to the show every you know rudolph my puppet was in every one of the pictures <laughs> and um, rudolph to say his name correctly in the accent um so you know there's a lot of things but i really want to take the show you know, around the world. And I mean, thus far I've had the chance now to perform in Tokyo. That was a television performance um, invited. I, oh, I missed, I, I had the chance to perform on the Ellen show about six years ago. And that was another experience that really helped to open some doors and um, help me build, I guess, just some credibility as a performer to start getting more opportunities. But you know, I'd love to go to Europe, to South America, to Asia, Africa. I mean, really just Australia, just go everywhere and take my show, take the entertainment, but also be there I mean, to me, there is a there's a missionary work component and just a share goodness component of it that, you know, whether it's I mean, obviously, I, I hope to to make people's lives happier and whether that's just through sharing beautiful music and being a friend um, or if that's also through being able to share some of my faith, then, you know, that's great. But that's that's one of the things that's at the root of why um, I want to have, you know, the career that I do. Um, and that's. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm excited to see what comes.